Hello guys, welcome to Eichmer 2024. We're here behind the ropes at Suzuki. We're looking at the new DRZ, the 4S and the 4SM. These ones are brand new, basically. It's new chassis, new engine. The engine itself, single cylinder, liquid cooled. It's got a dry sump to give it a little bit extra ground clearance. And I think the 4S, the Enduro version, is likely to do very well in the UK market. 4SM though, I like a supermoto, and I'm looking at this already. These ones are gonna be due out in summer 2025. No indications on price just yet, but let's have a little closer look at the models and just sort of go from there to discuss what they're about. And then we can find out more later on, but let's go and have a look at these. So first off, let's have a little look closer at the DRZ 4S. Now, of course, you may remember that it was around about 2008 where the Enduro model disappeared from Suzuki's fleet. This one has now reappeared, and I think, I believe it's the 25th birthday of the DRZ, I believe. I saw that online, I don't know if it's true or not. In any case, this one is gonna be Enduro riding for whether or not you're using this off-road all the time, or if you're gonna use a bit of road riding and then a bit of light green lane that you can do in the UK, which is mega fun. Getting something like this on your bike license and just riding off into the woodlands, into the forests, into the fields and everywhere you can ride these bikes is incredible fun. And I think that's what Suzuki are getting bang on here. In terms of that single cylinder motor, you're looking at about 38 PS or 37.4 brake horsepower, something like that. And it's 38 Newton meters of torque. What's basically gonna be happening there is that this is gonna be supremely fun to ride because it's that single cylinder power and you're gonna be using it all the way through. In the presentation for this model, the Suzuki head was saying that Suzuki aren't all about chasing numbers, but they are about usability and where that power comes in. So you'll probably find that jumping on one of these, you'll have nice low end power that carries through smoothly and then sort of reaches a bit of a peak rather than having to thrash it to get to that peak power. The differences between the 4S and the 4SM, naturally you're gonna have a bigger front wheel. So you've got a 21 inch front wheel on the SM and it's a 17 inch front wheel on the SM. 17 on the rear and 18 on the rear of this one. Of course, I don't have to tell you, but there's knobbly tires on the S and nice tires on the SM. In terms of size wise, you've got a nice wide bar as well. Simple, pretty clear to read dash, I'd imagine. But looking at it, you've got the ability here to switch on the ABS on the rear on and off and traction control on the, the both bikes on and off as well. You've also got the Suzuki drive mode selector, which is seriously going to be fun to use because then you can sort of change your power. And as you'll find from any Suzuki bike, if you want to use it in I think it's A, B and C, a mode is going to be direct. C mode is always nice and relaxed, if you know what I mean. So if you're going to really hit some trails, jump on this 4S, put it in A mode, switch off the rear ABS, rear traction control, have a great time. Let's have a look at the 4SM. So instantly jumping over to the 4SM, I noticed that this one's a little bit smaller because the seat height on this one, I believe is eight to 90 mil, whereas on the uh, Enduro version, it's 920, I believe. Naturally, the front wheel difference and the rear wheel difference on the S is going to be making that taller with a little bit longer in the wheels for the wheelbase. This one still is a little bit lower, so you can have a little bit more control over the wide bar, so you can be getting it really tucked into the racetrack. Color-wise, I really like that blue that's on the 4SM to my left. It was first unveiled and seen when I saw it on screen in that blue, I thought, yeah, that looks a bit of me, to be honest. You may remember from my Husqvarna review, that these bikes are incredible fun to ride. Even though it's just single cylinder motor, doesn't quite match up in power here, but I have no doubts that you're gonna jump on one of these and just have incredible amounts of fun. As I say, we have no price yet. We know that they're gonna be coming out in summer 2025, but I think that these are gonna be ones to watch out for. We'll throw a few more spec on screen, but until then, ciao from Mike Mer. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you on the next one.